Bronze for third, silver for second, and the winner gets gold. It's just what happens. But it hasn't always been the case, and why on earth did these medals get chosen for the medals? Well, first things first, Olympic medals were not part of the original games that are now called the Olympics. The ancient Olympic Games awarded an olive branch wreath to the winner of each sport. This was in honour of the Greek god Zeus. The first Olympic medals were awarded when the modern Olympic Games began in 1896 in Athens. However, there was no gold medal. The first place winner was given a silver medal and an olive tree branch. Second place received a copper medal and the third received a bronze medal. It was not until the United States hosted the St. Louis 1904 Games that the now traditional gold, silver and bronze medals were first awarded. Olympic medals were originally made of pure metals, including the gold. Pure gold medals were last awarded at the 1912 Stockholm Games. The IOC now governs and standardises the awards for all the Olympic Games, with rules on the size and composition of each medal. Current gold medals have less than 2% gold in them. As well as the gold, silver and bronze medals for the first three, all athletes who place first through to eighth receive an Olympic diploma, and every athlete receives a participation medal and diploma. OK, so now we know when they started awarding medals, but why gold, silver and bronze? The choice of metals comes from the first three ages of man in classical Greek mythology. There are five ages of man, but let's focus on the Olympic medals and those first three. The Golden Age was a time when men lived among the gods. It was a time of peace, harmony, stability and prosperity. The Golden Age was presided over by the leading titan, Cronus. The Silver Age was a time where youth lasted a hundred years and the Bronze Age was the era of heroes. They were also chosen for their metallurgical qualities and to understand this we need to go back to school for a quick lesson in astronomy, geology and also a bit of chemistry. The galaxy we live in was formed billions of years ago by an exploding star. The elements that make up our solar system and planet were formed inside that star. Lighter elements were made in more abundance than heavier elements. Elements are arranged in the periodic table with lighter elements towards the top and the heavier elements towards the bottom. This is also the arrangement of how abundant they are. Elements that are more abundant are on the top and elements that are rarer are on the bottom. The three metals used in the Olympic medals are located in the same column of the periodic table, meaning they share many of the same characteristics that make them good materials to create medals from. Bronze is actually made up mostly of copper and a bit of tin. Copper is at the top of the column, so it's the least rare, hence its choice for third place. Silver is one level down, rarer than copper. Finally, gold is one step below silver on the column, so it's the rarest of the three, and the ultimate metal for the winner's medal to be made from. So now you know everything you need to know about the gold, silver and bronze medals awarded in sport. If you have enjoyed this film, please give it a thumbs up and like, and also you'd be crazy not to subscribe. You don't want to miss any of my upcoming films. I've also made quite a few now, so please have a good look when you have a chance. And finally, if you are interested in sport, please check out my five-star rated book with thousands of the best sports facts and jokes. It's available online and to order in all good bookshops. Bye.